That's a fabulous straight drive. It's a strong cricketer with a strong mind that takes on Australia here. It didn't matter that it was a no ball. It isn't that Peterson heard the call. It's just that he wanted the stroke. Peterson's away again. While everyone else struggles with the bat, it takes him only two or three deliveries to get used to the pace, pace get used to the tempo. And he often starts with a single or a boundary early in his innings. Royal apart, definitely. And there's Kevin Peterson, just a little shimmy. Getting himself to the pitch of the ball, and the fielders unable to get the boundary rope. Oh, that would be the first ball that Kevin Peterson has faced off McGrath since McGrath banged one in. Broke his rib back in Australia, charging down Peterson, first delivery back. A little shimmy down the pitch, gets it on the full, McGrath went for the Yorker. Peterson with his long reach got to it, put it away for four. Brilliant shot, Kevin Peterson advancing down the wicket. Was hit with great power. Brad Hodge at mid-on had no chance. He goes again. It's in the air and it's all the way. Kevin Peterson looking to go after Michael Clark. He's just been sitting on him so far. The last two deliveries has yielded ten runs. And there'll be a question for Ricky Ponting in a minute. So does he take the power play? I can't imagine he will. With Peterson going like this, terrific stroke down the pitch, and the ball short enough to enable Peterson to get plenty of elevation. It's hit hard, Michael Hussey out there trying to do the fielding, and it was too good. It was hit very hard from Kevin Peterson, and Mike Hussey couldn't rein it in. As well, gets out well in front of his pad. A lot of power in the stroke. You can watch the size of the stride here and how far in front of the pad that he plays the ball. Backing away, looking to go through the offside. Nathan Bracken. A valiant dive, but couldn't call it in. Kevin Peterson on fire. End of the over. 99 for two. Catch! Oh, oh dropped it! Ricky Ponting, horizontal was Ponting, completely horizontal, and he's a man who can pull off a catch like that. It's Peterson that Ponting has missed. What an effort from Ponting, a slower ball, full toss, and it was past him, and he had to dive. Ponting will feel that he should have caught that. But... Peterson goes over the top, it's in the air, will this be caught? Matthew Hayden has dropped the ball. Was he put off by Brad Hogg? Amazing stuff. I don't think anybody thought he'd be back bowling at full tilt. Fielding as he is, there's a nice bit of timing from Kevin Peterson. It brings 200 to England. But this second spell from Simons is more than handy. But he's still excellent in this situation. Thank you, Michael Atherton. Just as Michael Atherton was singing McGrath's praises at the death, he bowls one short and wide. Peterson gives himself some room. Has his first boundary for 61 deliveries. Well, he can't afford to bowl this length. With the field, we mentioned the fact that third man is up. I thought anything short, anything wide, it is just almost a free hit for Peterson. Away. And there it is. Number one player in the world has got 100. He's got it against Australia, and it's his fourth in ODI cricket. And how England needed it today. Fine effort from Kevin Peterson, 117 balls, six fours and a six. But his work is not done yet. He's got to kick on now and kick on quickly, because England need upwards of 260 or more. Hit down the ground, Clark's a good fielder. He doesn't drop those, Ricky. Ponting has his best fielders on the boundary and Kevin Peterson's wonderful innings comes to an end. 
Everyone's innings coming to an end with a, a whimper rather than a bang. This is excellent bowling from Bracken. Jackson just not able to get away, giving himself room. Tried to get under the ball, but it was too full, really, and he couldn't get enough elevation. The ball going flat down to Michael Clark, who's got very strong hands. That's a strong catch. Easy to see the ball just breaking through the grip there with the power that Kevin Peterson hit it, but it was a strong catch, and Kevin Peterson's wonderful 100 comes to an ending.